S-400 Triumph. The S-400 Triumph, introduced by Russia in 2007, is one of the world's most formidable long-range air defense systems. Designed by Almazante, it can protect a radius of up to 400 kilometers, forming a shield over entire regions. The S-400 detects targets using advanced phased array radar and can track up to 80 simultaneously, including stealth aircraft, UAVs, cruise missiles, and intermediate-range ballistic missiles. It intercepts threats during both mid-course and terminal phases of flights. It employs a family of missiles, the 48N6, 40N6, 9M96E, and 9M96E2, each optimized for different ranges and altitudes. These interceptors are radar-guided, using semi-active and active homing to destroy targets in mid-air. Each missile costs between $1 to $2 million, and the S-400 maintains an 85 to 90% success rate in testing, making it a key element of Russia's strategic deterrence network. Patriot Pack 3 Developed in the United States and fielded since 1981, the Patriot system, now in its PAC-3 configuration, remains a global icon of missile defense. Covering a range of about 160 kilometers, the Patriot Pack 3 protects against short- and medium-range ballistic missiles, aircraft, and cruise missiles. Its radar continuously scans the skies, locking onto incoming threats during their terminal phase, when they re-enter the atmosphere and approach their target. Once a threat is confirmed, the system launches a Pack 3 MSE missile segment enhancement interceptor, which uses a hit-to-kill kinetic impact, striking the target directly rather than detonating near it. This precision eliminates warheads mid-air, reducing collateral damage. Each interceptor costs around three to four million dollars, and combat operations have demonstrated a success rate of 80 to 90 percent, especially against ballistic threats during conflicts in the Middle East and Ukraine. Iron Dome. The Iron Dome, introduced in 2011 by Israel's Rafael Advanced Defense Systems, revolutionized short-range missile defense. It covers an area of 70 kilometers and is designed to counter short-range rockets, mortars, artillery shells, and low-flying UAVs. Using an advanced radar, the Iron Dome identifies incoming projectiles in their boost or mid-course phase, calculates their trajectory, and determines whether they threaten populated areas. If they do, the system launches a Tamir interceptor to destroy them mid-air, using a proximity fuse explosion. Each Tamir missile costs between $40,000 to $100,000, a small price compared to the infrastructure it protects. The Iron Dome's automation allows reaction times of just seconds, and its combat-tested success rate of 90-95% is among the best in the world. It has intercepted tens of thousands of rockets, proving its effectiveness in real conflicts. S-500 Promete Russia's S-500 Promete, unveiled in 2021, represents a massive leap in air and space defense technology. With a coverage radius of up to 6 600 kilometers, it's built not only to intercept aircraft and missiles, but also to neutralize intercontinental ballistic missiles, ICBMs, and hypersonic glide vehicles traveling at more than 20 times the speed of sound. The S-500's radar can track targets in near space and intercept them in the mid-course or early exo-atmospheric phase before they re-enter Earth's atmosphere. Its missiles, such as the 77N-6N and 77N-6N-1, are designed to destroy both conventional and nuclear threats by sheer kinetic impact. Each interceptor costs costs an estimated five to seven million dollars. And while it hasn't yet seen combat, simulation data suggests a success rate around 85 to 90 percent, making it one of the few systems theoretically capable of defeating hypersonic weapons. THAAD Terminal High Altitude Area Defense The American THAAD, introduced in 2008, is designed to stop ballistic missiles during their terminal phase when they descend toward their targets at extreme speeds. It provides protection across 200 kilometers and up to 150 kilometers in altitude, intercepting missiles outside the atmosphere. THAAD uses the ANTPY-2 radar to detect and track threats early, giving it more time to engage. Once locked, it launches a high-speed interceptor that uses pure kinetic energy, not explosives, to smash directly into the target, vaporizing it mid-space. THAAD can intercept short, medium, and some intermediate-range ballistic missiles, including those armed with nuclear or chemical payload. Each interceptor costs about $11 million, but the system's 94% success rate in over 16 live tests makes it one of the most reliable anti-ballistic systems in existence. Aegis Combat System The U.S. Navy's Aegis Combat System, first deployed in 1983, serves as a mobile, sea-based shield capable of protecting both naval fleets and coastal regions. Using advanced SPY-1 and SPY-6 radar systems, Aegis can track over 100 targets at once, across 500 kilometers or more. It launches standard missiles, SM-2, SM-3, and SM-6, each designed for specific missions. The SM-2 handles aircraft and cruise missiles in the mid-course and terminal stages. The SM-3 intercepts ballistic missiles in mid-course phase outside the 
atmosphere, and the SM-6 can engage both aerial and hypersonic threats at incredible speeds. Each interceptor costs four to five million dollars, and Aegis systems maintain a success rate between 85 to 90 percent. Its ability to operate from ships gives it unmatched global reach, effectively turning the ocean into a mobile defense platform. HQ-9 FD-2000 China's HQ-9, introduced in 2001, is the country's premier long-range air defense system, modeled after elements of both the U.S. Patriot and Russian S-300 designs. Covering up to 200 kilometers, it can intercept fighter jets, drones, cruise missiles, and tactical ballistic missiles. The HQ-9 tracks its targets using a powerful phased array radar and engages them primarily in the mid-course or terminal phase, depending on altitude. The missiles use radar command guidance for the early flight stage and active radar homing for final engagement, ensuring accuracy. The FT-2000 and FD-2000 variants are exported versions, featuring enhanced electronic counter countermeasure. Each missile costs around $1 million, and its 80 to 85% success rate makes it one of the most respected non-Western defense systems currently in operation. NASAMS, jointly developed by Norway's Kongsberg Defense and Raytheon USA in 1998, the NASAMS National Advanced Surface-to-Air Missile System is a medium-range network-based defense platform. It covers 40 kilometers and specializes in intercepting aircraft, drones, and cruise missiles flying at low to medium altitudes. NASAMS employs AIM-120 AMRAAM missiles, the same used by fighter jets, and engages targets during the terminal phase when they are closing in on key assets. Its radar and optical sensors allow it to coordinate multiple launchers, creating a layered dome of protection. Each AMRAAM interceptor costs about $1 million, and in real-world defense, including protection of Washington, D.C., and Kyiv, the system has achieved an 85 to 90 percent success rate proving its precision in urban defense environments. Barak 8 LR SAM The Barak 8, developed jointly by India and Israel and introduced in 2016, is a versatile medium-range defense system designed for both land and naval deployment. Covering a 7,150-kilometer range, it intercepts aircraft, UAVs, anti-ship missiles, and cruise missiles during the mid-course and terminal stages of their flight. The missile launches vertically and uses active radar homing, along with a two-way data link that allows real-time adjustments mid-flight. It's designed to counter modern sea skimming missiles that fly just meters above the surface. Each interceptor costs around $1.2 million, and with a success rate near 90%, Barak 8 has become the core of India's and Israel's naval defense grids, capable of defending entire fleets or strategic land installations from high-speed threats. David's Sling Israel's David's Sling, operational since 2017, fills the gap between the short-range Iron Dome and long-range aero systems. It defends up to 300 kilometers and is designed to counter medium to long-range rockets cruise missiles, and short-range ballistic missiles. The system uses stunner interceptors, advanced missiles equipped with both radar and electro-optical sensors, allowing real-time course correction and multi-angle attack paths. It primarily engages targets during the terminal phase, but can also intercept threats in the mid-course stage if detected early enough. When a missile is launched toward Israel, David Sling's radar tracks it instantly, calculates its trajectory, and fires a stunner missile to destroy it with a focused proximity explosion. Each interceptor costs around $1 million, and the system system maintains an 85 to 90 percent success rate, providing a crucial layer of protection against sophisticated regional threats. 